In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. We, as a Christian community, know the importance and the power of prayer. We know that prayer is a weapon, and that God, our Heavenly Father, will give to us anything that we ask in faith. Jesus has said that anything that you ask in his name of the Father, God will listen to our prayer and will grant our request. Ask and search, seek, find. That's what Jesus said. Well, this morning we're going to pray as a school community. I'm going to ask for your prayers for two Canadian women. I'm going to ask that you join me in praying for Kareen Blaze and Vic Victoria Stafford. Miss Blaze is a 21-year-old Canadian servicewoman. She was in the Canadian Van Dues Regiment that had just recently been transferred to Afghanistan. She was killed the other day while on patrol. Four other Canadian service personnel were injured as a result of a roadside blast. Ms. Blaze, at 21, is the second Canadian woman killed in combat in Afghanistan. Regardless of what the international ramifications or what the international goals of the Canadian presence in Afghanistan, regardless of what they are, one thing is certain. The young Canadian soldiers who are serving our country in Afghanistan, they are there for the most noblest of intentions. They are there to make a difference. To a person, they believe that they are helping young men and women in Afghanistan escape the evils and the pressure of the Taliban. These young people are making a difference and their lives are certainly examples to all of us. Let us pray for Ms. Blaze today and for her family. Let us pray for all of the Canadian soldiers in harm's way, that they will be able to make a difference, but not at the expense of losing their life or at the expense of any lives in Afghanistan. Now as for Miss Victoria Stafford, young Tori is eight years old. She attends a school or she attended a school in Stratford, Oliver Stevens School. Last Wednesday after school, she was last seen leaving the school premises with an adult woman. Young Tori has not been seen for a week. The people of Stratford are very concerned. The people of Ontario are very concerned with her missing. Everyone is uh, searching in the area and people are praying for Tori, praying that she will be found safely. This, dear friends, explains how important school security is. We are praying for a good outcome for Ms. Stratford, but let us always remember that we must be very vigilant around our school not to have outsiders present in and around our school. You know, it's easy for us to point the finger over there, but we have a duty to make our school safe and only have St. Paul's students and their families, their parents who are here to pick them up, present on site without clearance from the main office. So let us pray that Tori will be found safely and let us pray for the soul of Kareen Blaze. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. With the students from Ms. Bueno's class going with me to the pro-life seminar today at St. Marcellinus, please meet me in the cafeteria at the end of these announcements. And have a great day, St. Paul. St. Paul's. I'm Jeremy Kozell and I will be your anchor for the rest of the week. Attention Harmony Movement students. 
A reminder that we meet each and every Wednesday afternoon at 2.40 p.m. in room 109, or 130, sorry. Look forward to seeing everyone return. New applicants welcome. A family in the neighborhood is looking for a grade 11 or 12 female student who would like to spend time with the special needs family. The, the position is paid one day a week, Saturday, from 7 to 9 p.m. Activities include watching TV, playing cards or games, and talking. See Ms. Washick if interested. If you like sweets, then don't forget your, chan your change today when Student Council brings a uh, we'll be running a bake sale in the CAF during 3A and 3C lunch. All money raised will go towards sponsoring a child through the organization Chalice. Attention all students. The Dufferin Peel Board Summer School Information is in student services. Please come and pick up your course information sheet in the application to check locations and course availability. If you have filled the course in semester one, or if you are not doing well in a class in semester two, you should be registering as soon as possible. Don't wait until June, as then spaces might be filled out. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. You will be informed when the Peel Board inform information comes in. This is the new improved smoking area. Uh, the new improved smoking area is the St. Paul sign board on the west side of the property. Uh, the green box on the other side of Atwater is prohibited. Sorry, I missed an announcement. The school play. This is a reminder that the tours are required for the remaining rehearsals starting this Thursday. We are beginning to fit you uh, for costumes, so we need you on time. Monique Morgan, come and see, come please see Miss McMahon after announcements in room 209. With the following people who signed up for the crew also see Miss McMahon right after announcements today in room 209. Lena Evans, Taylor and Skylar Brugmans, Brianna. Dorn Ford, Kate Goosens, Natalia Drabinka, sorry for any wrong names, Tess Krendrick, Martha Pokrowski, Alec Heath, Polina Pradka, Terence Hidva, Dylan Pryor, Chris Ayanika. If, you, if your name wasn't called and you think you were part of the backstage crew, light or sound, please come as well. This is a brief meeting and students will return to class in about five minutes. You will be assigned your duties and given a schedule for rehearsal. Now for sports. There will be a girls slow pitch practice after school Wednesday and Thursday. Yesterday, the girls senior soccer team had their season debut playing Gordon Grading at the Hershey Center. Before the game was, given five was even five minutes old, the score was two nothing for the Lady Wolverines. We demolished our opponents with a final score of 8-1. to one. Go girls! Goal scorers include Christy Malacker with a hat trick, Luba Solipka and Caitlin Turk with two, and Catherine Curity with a single. Our forwards and midfield dominated the game and our defense and goalkeeping was also outstanding. The coaches were pleased with the team play and camaraderie. Congratulations girls, ne next practice is Thursday after school. Also, the team would like to give a special thanks to Mr. Fernandez for stepping in as a substitute coach at very short notice. That's all the announcements for today, St. Paul's. The song of the day is Message in a Bottle by the Police. Have an awesome day.